Welcome to Sunday School for ages 9 to 11 for October 4th, 2020. I do not own the rights to this music. Love seeks justice. Justice is fair treatment. The Bible basis is found in 1 Samuel chapter 19, verses 1 through 7. Hey, Remy. Miss Allen caught her daughter just as she was returning home from school. Your cousin Willie said he won't be able to make it to that career day event at your school. Oh, no. Remy slammed her book bag on the couch. Well, you know, a doctor's schedule is always subject to change, Miss Allen noted. Looks like he'll be in surgery that day. Remy sighed. Then I guess I'll see if Randy can step away from his auto shop for an hour. I'm sure he'd be willing to do it, but it may be difficult for him to get away if he has appointments scheduled. Miss Allen pointed out, what about your Uncle Brady? He's a producer for the Channel 5 News. It's behind the scenes work, but I'm sure he'd provide an interesting presentation. No, that's okay, said Remy. I don't want to bother him. Well, you were going to bother Willie and Randy. Uncle Brady might be a better choice anyway, said Miss Allen, pulling out her phone. No, Mom. Really, I'd rather ask Randy, Remy insisted. Miss Allen paused from her search and caught Remy eye to eye. What's really the problem here? Remy was hesitant to respond. Does this have anything to do with your uncle's disability? Remy shrugged. I just don't want the kids making fun of him. There may be a few students who may, Miss Allen admitted, but I like to think the majority of your class members are mature enough to give him a chance. Remy turned away. Much like I'd expect you to do. How do you feel about Remy being hesitant to ask her disabled uncle to share at career day? Sometimes making the right move can be uncomfortable or unpopular. Have you ever had to make an uncomfortable move for the sake of love and fairness? King Saul's jealousy over David's fame as a celebrated military hero fueled his plans to have him slain. In the following text, we'll discover how Saul's son, Jonathan, made the right move to reconcile his father back to David. 1 Samuel chapter 19 verses 1 through 7 And Saul spake to Jonathan his son and to all his servants that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seeketh to kill thee. Now therefore I pray thee, take heed to thyself unto the morning, and abide in a secret place, and hide thyself, and I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where thou art, and I will commune with my father of thee, and what I see, that I will tell thee. And Jonathan spake good of David unto Saul, his father, and said unto him, let not the king sin against his servant, against David, because he hath not sinned against thee, and because his works have been to thee word very good. For he did put his life in his hand, and slew the Philistine, and the Lord wrought a great salvation for all Israel. Thou sawest it, and didst rejoice. Wherefore then wilt thou sin against innocent blood? to slay David without a cause. And Saul hearkened unto the voice of Jonathan. And Saul swear, as the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. And Jonathan called David. And Jonathan showed him all those things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul. And he was in his presence as in times past. The strength of Jonathan's love for God and for David enabled him to make the uncomfortable decision to confront his father and persuade him to reconsider his evil intentions toward David. 
doing my part. We can grow in our personal commitment to display love and justice or fairness toward members of our family and community by striving to keep God's perspective on various matters. God's word presents his view on every type of situation, which is always centered in love and justice. Even as you commit to to eating regular meals of natural food daily, commit to absorbing the spiritual food of God's word each day this week so you'll keep his view in sight. The Bible says, Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 7, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. The Bible says, Love worketh no ill to its neighbor. Love is the fulfilling of God's law. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.